So rather than being just sort of blabble on, uh, let's actually see a really cool uh, uh, application of this in use, uh, which is KEXP. Uh, and uh, I'd like to invite Tom Mara and Aaron uh, Starkey on stage uh, in order to introduce it. Scott. Thanks. How are you doing? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Remember when you could actually, back in the day, fall in love with a radio station? Yeah. KXP is a radio station we hope that you will fall in love with. KXP is a music station, eclectic, non-commercial radio station in Seattle, Washington. And our job is simply to figure out how to get music into your life. And the way that we do that is like in the past, the way radio used to be, is you, God forbid, give the authority to select the music to the DJ. That enables a stronger connection between the DJ and the listener. Now, we started out back in 1972 as a 10-watt station, and through the years, grew incrementally. But when we went on the web, things just took off. All of a sudden, we moved from a 10-watt radio station to one that was getting requests from Iceland. Uh, so as 2001, 2%, maybe 3% of our contributors lived outside of Seattle. Now it's one out of three. Our economic <clears throat> model is simply based on the extent to which we can engender loyalty among our listeners to the point where they're willing to contribute to us, that love that needs to be engendered. And so this connection with Microsoft and Silverlight is enabling us to get further down the road, to strengthen not only the connection between the listener and the radio station, but that connection between the listener and his or her fellow listener. Now, Aaron Starkey is our manager of online services at KEXP, really the center of the universe for all things online for KEXP. He's going to show you some of the things that we've been working on. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, everyone. So this is kxp.org today. It's a pretty straightforward music website. We have playlists, we have links to our live stream, we have podcasts, basic editorial content. What we don't have is a consolidated uh, out of browser experience. And that's one of the things that I'm gonna show you today. So as you can see, the first thing that it does is it, it prompts me and, and asks me, do you wanna create a desktop shortcut? Great. And this is the KXP Silverlight player. I'm going to close the browser so you can see that we're actually operating outside of the browser, but with all the benefits of, of living within the, the browser's uh, security sandbox, which is, which is really key for us. So as Tom mentioned, uh, there's, there's a triangle of things that, that are important for us. There's the artist, there's the curatorial connection between the artist, the DJ, and our community. And one of the things that we, we haven't been able to do in the past that we're going to be able to do now is connect all three of those in one place. So as you can see, we've got the live stream going on, uh, artist metadata, the album art. We also have uh, Cheryl, our DJ, who's letting us know that this is a Black Flag cover, which I didn't know, and I love it. So I'm able to come in here and interactively connect with the DJ, the station, the media, the artist, uh, and the other users of that community. So it's, it's coming together all in one place. One of the other things that's important for us as an online radio station is what happens when you're not online. It's very hard to stream to you when you don't have internet connectivity. So what I'm going to do is show you what happens when we lose our internet connectivity. Say I'm, I'm having breakfast, I've been listening to KXP all morning, but I have to get on the bus and, and go across the bridge and get to work. So let's turn this off. Automatically, Silverlight uh, was able to tell me that I'm offline, and within the API, I could react to that and, and guide the user to KXP content that isn't available through streaming, but it's actually already been download downloaded into isolated storage. So thank you for telling me. Uh, and here's a video that I like. I'm a big fan of the Walkman. Let's check that out. So it's playing right there, and I'm on the bus, and I'm still connected to KXP. So we're able to maintain this connection to the station, to the artist, and to uh, our, our listeners, regardless of our connected state. Since I'm a big fan of the Walkman, I'm going to favorite this, because I want, I want Tom to know that I think this is pretty cool, and I was listening to it on the bus. And even though I'm disconnected, it's actually taking care of that problem for me, and it's going to update it with the cloud later on. As you can see, it's put a little heart there that says that I favorited it. So let's, uh, let's pause this. Well, actually, let's reconnect. So I've reconnected.
And as you can tell, the players responded appropriately. It's connected me back to the live stream. Um, it's put me back in the state where I can see the comments that happened while I was gone. Another thing that's important to us, um, in which we're really going to take uh, really value, is the ability in Windows 7 to pin an application, in this case, uh, an out of browser application done in Silverlight, uh, to the taskbar. So let's pin this program to the taskbar. So you can imagine every day I come to work, you know, there are, there are two first class citizens here there's IE and now there's KXP. So every morning I can open it up, it's right there. We stay connected, we stay right in front of our users with this feature, which, because of all of the options that people have to listen to streaming content, media, all, all over the place, this is, this is really valuable to us, because without our listeners, we wouldn't, wouldn't really exist. So I've gotten to work, Tom's just gotten to work, and he's over on his uh, Macintosh. And he says, huh, I think I'll listen to KXP. As you notice, it's the same player, which is great for us because we're a small organization and our development resources are limited. So the ability to, to write um, these controls in such a way that we can use them in multiple platforms, we can actually run these in the browser as well as out of the browser, um, is really important, important to us. So because Tom knows that I have great musical taste and he just got to work, he's going to check and see what I've been doing. And he can tell, hey, look, Aaron favorited the Walkman. I want to check it out. It's already been downloaded. He's able to watch the content. So aside from, from just having the, the on-air stream, uh, on-demand videos, podcasts, et cetera, we also do a, a number of live remotes. So what I'd like to show you is right now we're, we're streaming from South by Southwest. Now, we may or may not have a band actually playing when I click on this button. Um, artists lead complicated lives, and sometimes they're not on schedule. So let's, let's, let's see. Ah, no, no live band, um, but it's a cool graphic. <laughs> uh, so what this, what this application does for us is it allows us to operate outside of the browser so we can offer a really holistic experience of our content, the ability to pin it to the taskbar so we can stay right in front of our users. And, and really, like, like we've, we've been talking about, the social networking piece, the, the people that listen to music, the people that want to communicate with each other, that want to communicate with the station, that want to communicate with the artist, we're able to do this now in, in one place. And, and that's just fundamental to our mission. But thank you very much. Thank you.